Should you switch to Apple's new savings account and what's the catch? Apple just launched a savings account with a 4.15% interest rate. This is an absolutely insane interest rate. But when evaluating a bank, you can't just look at interest rates alone. There are banks that will lure victims in with a high interest rate and then smack them with a ton of fees. When evaluating a bank, make sure to check the following. Are they FDIC insured? Do they have great customer service? How much money will they make you? And do they have an overall great reputation? After reviewing each of these, you then need to look for any bank specific issues. And in this case, there are a couple. Let's start with FDIC. This is a type of banking insurance that guarantees your bank account's money up to $250,000 per account type in the event of a bank failure. You do not want to discover your bank is the next bank to fail and that your money isn't insured. Apple partnered with Goldman Sachs to create the Apple savings account. Apple rings the clients, Goldman Sachs handles the banking. Goldman Sachs is FDIC insured, so in the event that Goldman Sachs goes bankrupt, you are insured up to $250,000. What's interesting is that there is a maximum bounce allowed for your savings account, which is also $250,000. Goldman Sachs and Apple do not want you to exceed the FDIC insurance coverage. I love this decision. Part of the reason the recent bank failures occurred at Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank is that many of the depositors had balances above $250,000. If someone had $10 million in their savings account and the bank goes under, they'd only get back $250,000 of it. Once each bank's clients believed the bank was going to go under, the depositors pulled their money, causing a bank run, and destroyed the bank. Apple's new savings account won't meet that fate since everyone is insured and you can't go beyond $250,000. As for customer service, Apple's bank account is online only. You should not expect to be able to walk into an Apple store and get significant help. If something goes very wrong, there is a customer service hotline available 24-7 to help you with your issue. As for customer service quality, the Apple savings account is so new that there isn't a track record to judge. Now let's talk about making money. There are two components, the interest rate and the fees. Apple's interest rate of 4.15% is among the highest available. It does remain to be seen if Apple wants to keep it that way or if this is more of an extremely high promotional rate. Only time will tell. Now like all high yield savings accounts, this is a variable interest rate. If the Federal Reserve slashes interest rates, you should expect that Apple will also be cutting their interest rate. As for fees, Apple claims there are no fees, no minimum deposits, and no minimum bounce requirements. There also appears to be no overdraft fees since the deposit agreement states that Apple will not permit you to withdraw from the account if there are insufficient funds. The account doesn't even allow wires to and from the account, meaning there isn't even a wire fee. Apple looks to be living up to the ideal of no fees, but in part because the bank account is simplified in scope. When it comes to Apple's reputation, it's stellar. The reason Apple is the largest company in the world is because Apple continues to deliver amazing results for its clients. Now for the issues. The most immediate issue is that getting an Apple savings account requires getting the Apple card. The good news is that Apple's credit card is genuinely impressive. The Apple card gives cash back and has no annual fee. Those are two features I look for in any credit card because it gives the credit card provider less opportunity to screw you over by changing the value of a point or a mile or by increasing the annual fee. You get 3% cash back from purchases with a small but popular list of companies. You get 2% back anytime you use Apple Pay and you get 1% back on everything else. If you are someone who frequently uses Apple Pay, this credit card is fantastic. But the best part of the credit card is the daily cash rewards. A lot of great rewards cards make it annoying to cash out in hopes you'll forget about the rewards. Apple Card's cash back pays out daily automatically. Now that's convenient. Previously, your options for the cash back didn't maximize the value of the feature. You either put the rewards into Apple Cash, which is like Venmo or Cash App, or you had it credited on your statement every month. There was no easy way to get your daily cash back into a bank account where it would make interest, at least until now. Apple Card users can direct their daily cash back into their Apple savings account automatically, solving this problem beautifully. There are other ways to add money to your Apple savings account besides daily cash back, such as receiving your paycheck or transferring money from another bank. There is a long-term concern I have with the Apple savings account. While Apple is all in on providing great financial services to their clients, the bar they're aiming for might be unsustainable. For example, let's look at the Apple Card. Just like the Apple Savings Account, Apple partnered with Goldman Sachs for the Apple Card. 
the deal was so unprofitable that Apple and Goldman Sachs renegotiated the deal to make it more equitable for Goldman Sachs. As for the savings account, even Goldman Sachs's own high yield savings account offers a little less in interest than Apple's savings account. I worry that between the Apple card and the savings account, there just isn't enough profit to make the venture worthwhile. This could lead to future cuts to the savings account interest rate and Apple Card's benefits long term. But that's a long term concern. If you are looking for a new bank and you're deep into the Appleverse, the Apple savings account is worth considering. Just make sure to keep an eye on it since Apple might not be able to sustain such high benefits for both the account and the Apple Card. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more. I wish you nothing but the best of your journey towards financial success.